Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Nonstop Talking with your girl here, Vivian Liu. Recently, well, kind of recently, I finished my rewatch of Lie to Me. Originally, a few years back, several years back, um, I watched the show in its entirety on Netflix. And then recently, I found out that it's on Hulu, so I decided to just rewatch the show it's one of like my random cancelled favorites <laughs> if i could have like a category like that it's one of those random shows that i like picked up on a whim just because i really like um those like crime fighting time type of shows and this was recommended to me i think like by netflix at that time uh, so I gave it a try and I ended up really enjoying it and then finding out that like it gets cancelled like super duper abruptly in season 3. So it, it was kind of disheartening but it's a fun show to play in the background um, and just to rewatch. I really like the cast and the characters and the premise. So with that being said, <laughs> I went on like a whole introduction already. I decided to just film a show thoughts for it. So today I am coming at you with show thoughts, I believe number five for Lie to Me. This will consist of me discussing pretty much seasons one, two, but mostly three. Let's kind of talk about what this show is about first and then I will dive into spoilers. Um, so Lie to Me is about, I guess, you, a scientist uh, slash like business owner um, who's really good at reading micro expressions and can tell whether a person is telling the truth or lying through his ability to read micro expressions. He teams up with a psychologist, Julian Foster, and they have kind of a business together with a support staff, I guess, Loker, who like studies like group behavioral prop group behavioral be group behavior. <laughs> I believe that it was in the first episode that we already get introduced by Rhea, who's kind of his um apprentice protege kind of um who has like a natural talent of uh reading micro expressions and then through that um you know they have a firm and they get contacted by the police or private companies to kind of tell if people are lying and help them like solve crime and mystery and yada yada uh <laughs> i don't know is that a good summary or not if that got you interested in the show or not but honestly i personally think like it could have been a really strong show if it didn't get cut so quickly but that's that let's go and talk about the show so let's see the first season has 13 episodes the second season has 22 episodes and the third season has 13 episodes so it's a pretty short show i would say you can probably finish it like pretty quickly let me look at the cast and tell you how i feel about the characters okay so first off we have um cal lightman who is the main character and he's played by tim roth he kind of is a bully and he's kind of mean so he's that type of like love to hate kind of character um and i think he plays this role really well um just because there are points especially in the third season where he's just so mean to loker and you're like oh can you just give the kid a break um but at the same time like his relationship with jillian and how much he cares for his daughter like it shows off his sweet and like sentimental side and you're just like oh i can't hate him completely so i actually really like him as the main character he does keep you on his toes with his like crazy antics and obviously second we have um dr jillian foster who is played by Kelly Williams. Yes. I originally really liked um, how she was portrayed. Um, I think it was really cool how um, she would like eat pudding and like 
eat sweets and junk food all the time um, but she was like this professional person I like that and then they kind of dropped it and I was like oh okay I guess we're not doing that anymore I like how her relationship with her husband where um, both Cal and her know that like her husband's cheating on her um, but they both like just like keep it a secret to each other and keep it a secret to themselves um, and I liked that dynamic originally and I did like that um, afterwards she was able to uh, divorce her husband and kind of date um, one of the person that she did date ended up breaking her heart uh, but I think it was I think she was just a very interesting character especially with her struggle to um, become a mother and I wish we got to see this play out to fruition but it never did but yeah like I said I really liked her um, dynamic with Cal and that's why I didn't really like the way um, season three the final episode where Emily's kind of like to her father Cal like oh you like Jillian right like like love her and he's like yeah and I was just like mm, no first of all if this was to develop I feel like it was like honestly season three was just a rush of like not proper like storytelling but I think it could have developed in a way where Jillian and um Cal could potentially have a romantic relationship but I think it was too early when they introduced it and there was too much going on when they introduced it and you just I didn't feel that way for them I think like they worked really well as like two partners supporting each other um business partners and friendship partners and whatnot yeah Okay, so next we have Rhea Torres, played by Monica Raymond. Um, she's beautiful, <laughs> first of all. Um, second, I really liked her character because her character never got on my nerves, uh, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, I, I like the way she slowly developed and came onto her own and um, even with her natural ability she was still very studious and wanted to get better and she's very loyal um, which like is displayed in a few episodes very strongly um, and I also liked her backstory and the episode with her sister I think if the show could have developed further it would have been really interesting to see how to see like the sister come back and obviously she was the one who brought uh, Michael B Jordan on to the show and then it got cut <laughs> I really like her um, character and that's why I think it's so hard for the next person, Eli Loker, um, who is played by Brendan Hines. Um, he's a cutie as well. <laughs> but I just feel so bad for him than most of this show. Just because I see where, I understand why Cal would undermine him and undervalue him. But sometimes it's like, oh my god, can he just catch a break? Um, I actually really like the episode where, I think it was in season two, where the kids are like taking a field trip um, of the office and he Loker has to entertain them and he brings out his guitar and sings and I think it was a really like, it was a nice side of Loker that we rarely get to see. Moving on, we have Emily, who is Cal's daughter, played by Haley McFarlane. I loved the relationship Cal had with Emily. First of all, I think it's kind of cool seeing him as like a single dad character, but just the closeness that they shared and the bickering that they like, or like the bickering arguments that they have. Um, I, I don't know, I think it was like a father-daughter relationship done really well. You can tell they both really cared about each other and they both really loved each other. And I even like the character of the mother somewhat and the dynamic um, of this like family. I don't know, I just really liked Emily. I would have liked to see if more of her and her growth and development. Um, but obviously that's impossible, but just super duper love that father-daughter bond that they share. So there were kind of two, I think, cop 
Bish like character. Definitely there was one Ben. Um, and I think there was one before him and I can't remember who he his name is. But um yeah, it sucks what happened to Ben uh afterwards. But I felt like this kind of character was there for purposes of like moving the story along when they needed the cop character, but they didn't leave like too big of an impact for me to really uh talk about. Sorry. And obviously there's Zoe who's Cal's ex-wife and Emily's mother. Um I really liked Zoe's character and I really liked the love and hate relationship she had with Cal. Obviously she like moved um and we don't get to see that um anymore. But I think it was good. I think it was good when she moved just because like that could have gone drawn out so terribly and bad, but yeah. I mean, not that it had that opportunity to do it with the show being cancelled. <laughs> um, there is also another character I wanted to talk about, but it's not showing up soon enough in this character list. Okay, so there's actually two. So there is the police officer that um, in season three, Cal gets into a relationship with. I didn't like her. I didn't like her one bit. And I don't like that, like, he was, like, kind of still in that relationship when he, like, admitted to Emily, like, uh, yeah, I might potentially love Jillian, so, uh, but I didn't like the relationship, I didn't like her character. Um, if anything, there was that, oh, the, the rich lady, um, I can't remember her name, who wanted to be, like, an apprentice, um, married that really rich guy, he ended up, like, committing, like, assisted suicide, um, and her husband uh, I can't remember her name but yeah she's blonde and she's pretty and I think she had a really like fun dynamic with Cal and I think it was like sadly cut a little bit too short so I can't remember her name but obviously I'll have a picture and people who have seen the show will know what I am talking about I wanted to go back and look at the episodes and like talk about my favorite ones but I realized like that's just too much work um so we're gonna skip that part and kind of really just like go into my overall thoughts of the show and then kind of talk about um season three and my thoughts about that so I think one of the things I really liked about the show like I said was mainly I really liked a lot of the characters on this show I think they had a good dynamic with one another that's one of the draws to the show something else I really enjoyed was I like shows that I feel like I'm learning something like it's teaching me something um and these like micro aggressions oh my god sorry micro expressions was really fun to learn about and I think it was cool to see it get played out next I think like I said, I will always like enjoy a solid like crime fighting show and I think this one does fit into that category really well. Those are the three main things I liked about it, right? Like the cast, um, the characters and the chemistry that they had with each other, um, the micro expressions and learning about that and then number three just like it was a solid like crime fighting show <laughs> and honestly like if you think about it it was actually kind of a pretty diverse show as well so props talking about diversity i'm reminded that we get some really interesting interns in season three that we never get to see develop as characters and it's such a pity especially her i said earlier i recently finished re-watching it so obviously season three is the freshest in my mind and um the finale is definitely still something i am trying to work through in the end i really enjoyed this show i do think that season three was like a rocky way to end like i said uh i didn't really like the way cal bullying loker was like turned up a notch unnecessarily i didn't like the relationship that cal formed with that uh police officer and i didn't like that cal kind of admitted to having feel feelings for jillian and then that's how the season ends and that's how the show ends i think it was um uh, terrible ending and i don't know if it could have helped it i think you know i don't know what was going on at the time when the showrunners found out that the show was being canceled um so i do think like it was pretty solid 
until like the end but there's nothing it could do about it so i guess now we explore the question of whether this show should make a comeback first of all i don't think many people have watched this show at all <laughs> i told my brother to watch it because he's and he's like oh this is like i think he actually said that he's seen the show before and then when he got to season three he's like oh i definitely didn't watch season three um but he thinks it's a fun show as well so um yeah I, first of all i don't think a lot of people have watched the show i don't think there would be enough fan presence for it to ever make a comeback and it's been like way too long but i think this concept and this premise could definitely do well now as like a completely different show or like we could have cow's daughter all grown up emily all grown up and seeing like her take over the lightman group would that be interesting um but yeah i think it could potentially make a comeback but i don't think that it would work as like a reboot is that what what is is that the right word for it but yeah like i don't think like it could keep with the original cast and keep with the original storyline like it would have to be something completely different only keeping the premise and the concept and i think i would like seeing that i think it would be fun still but i don't think it will happen <laughs> and that's just me being realistic let's wrap this up so overall lie to me three seasons um really enjoyed it from beginning to almost end um i think it's really fun it's educational in a way um, i don't know how factual it is <laughs> um and i think that it was very clever and it shows a great father and daughter relationship and even like the i think is it like master and apprentice relationship as well and i think um the stories are eclectic but entertaining um and it, it was actually pretty diverse thinking back on it and i think overall it was a solid show that got like cancelled way too soon and didn't develop or wasn't able to create a proper send-off which is you know disappointing but i really enjoyed it i think it will definitely be one of those shows along with some few other shows that i usually put on repeat in the background just to have noise playing around if it was to ever like come back in a way i think it would just only be with the premise and with the concept but it would still be something i would watch and i think if done well it could um potentially yeah but it could potentially be a show that could be long lasting with that being said if you've seen the show let me know what your thoughts are down below and outro time like comment subscribe see you in my next video whenever that is bye